Hello everybody, how y'all doing? My name is Raffle and welcome to today's video. Today, Modern Warfare 2 came out and the first thing that I had to figure out was obviously the best settings for my PC. I play on a fairly old system with 16 gigs of RAM, a, a GTX 1080 and an i7-8700. It, it's not the worst system to play on, however, it starts to show its age and in every game that I play, I need to figure out my graphic settings so I can get as many FPS as possible. I'm happy to say that I'm able to play with an average of higher than 100 FPS, which means that my game is very smooth. I don't have any FPS drops. I don't have any weird, you know, sudden drops or, or anything like that. Uh, the game is actually running much, much better than I was expecting, and I'm really happy about it. Keep now in mind, without being said, that 100 FPS might not sound lot and they really aren't however it's 100 fps on a fairly old system so if you're running let's say a 3070 with with a, a new i7 or a much newer than mine then you're gonna get much much more fps i recommend you to try out the settings and leave a comment down below telling me how many uh, fps you're actually getting with your specs of your system because that will be something very interesting to see obviously as i told you because i'm running on a fairly old system i prioritize performance over looks so the game it will not look amazing however it looks pretty decent in my opinion moving on to the settings part of the video on the display section things are very straightforward on your display mode have whatever display you prefer your monitor obviously here your GPU, then your screen refresh rate, depending on how many hertz your monitor comes with. If you have six hertz monitor, you want that to be on 60. If you have 244, you want that to be 244. I have 144, so I have it on 144. Your display resolution, again, whatever your monitor can support, unless you wanna play on a lower display resolution in order to gain extra FPS, that's always an option. However, because my monitor is only a 1080p downgrading, from 1080p to 720p is really really not worth the extra fps that we're gonna get dynamic resolution is off aspect ratio automatic v-sync obviously off costume frame rate limit i have 145 in game simply because i can only get 144 hertz so anything over 144 is just wasting fps my menu fps are 60 because who needs more on a menu and then the out of focus are 30 Brightness is something very important in my opinion because this game comes with a lot of maps that they have quite a few dark spots. Enemies can blend with the shadows or whatever and you might not be able to see them so you end up losing the gunfights. I recommend you having your brightness somewhere around 65 with 70 or at least that's where I'm comfortable with. Focus mode off. Moving on the quality section. We want quality presets to be on a costume so we can play around with them. Upscaling sharpening. Because I have an NVIDIA GPU, I'm going with NVIDIA image scaling. And now, if you have an NVIDIA, you have to decide what you value the most. For example, if you want to have as many FPS as possible, going with the performance option over here will grant you around 40 with 50 FPS. However, the game will look really, really bad because it's going to downscale the image you're not going to be playing with 1080p. What I recommend you going with is native. That's what you saw in the gameplay earlier. That's what I prefer. That's what gets me 100 plus FPS on average. The game looks like a 1080p game, but at the same time, it gives you decent FPS. If you want to change that, if you want even more FPS, try playing around with those settings and you will figure out what you prefer the most. I found that performance gives you the highest FPS boost. However, the image is awful. Native, on the other hand, seems to be the perfect balance between performance and quality. Now, moving on, we want the anti-aliasing to be the SMAA. Anti-aliasing quality low, video memory scale 90, texture resolution very low, texture filter low, high, high, short, low, high, off, low, off, terrain memory minimum, on demand texture streaming definitely off, streaming quality low, volumetric quality low, deferred physics off, and then when it comes to shadows, we want to have very low, off, low, these are changed simply because uh, I played around with this, so the settings change, but don't worry, we're gonna change them as we move forward. Spotcast definitely low, particle lighting low, ambient occlusion off, 
screen space reflections off, static reflection quality off, water grid volumes off. Now after a little bit of research that I did, because I have a 1080 card, a 10 series card actually, Nvidia has forgotten all about me as everyone guessed I'm pretty sure. However, if you have a 20 series card, you want that to have it on on. If you have a 30 series card, you want that to have on on plus boost. The reason I have it on on and not off is because on on I get a little bit better performance than if I have it on off. We're talking about a couple of FPS, however, it still is a better performance. Keep in mind, however, that because I don't have a 20 series or 30 series GPU, I can be 100% certain that what I read is actually true. However, the majority of users seem to agree that having a 30 series card is worth going with on plus boost for better FPS. Depth of field off, world motion blur off, weapon motion blur off, and then film grain zero. The last section is of course the view. Field of view comes down to personal preference. However, I recommend you to get used to as high field of view as the game offers simply because you can see more things. ADS field of view, I prefer it on affected. Weapon field of view, wide, that's actually very important. On default, the weapon just looks on medium size, on narrow, the weapon looks bigger, and on wide, the weapon looks smaller, which means that there is more room on your screen to see what's going on around you, so you want to have that on wide. Third person field of view, 90. Vehicle field of view, wide. And then on the camera, we have first person camera movement, 50%. Third person camera movement, 50%. Third person ADS transition, third person ADS, and then default spectator camera, helmet camera. Those are my settings. Uh, as I told you, I play with very nice FPS. Uh, I play very stable without any FPS drops, and the game looks uh, not terrible. So yeah, as I said, if you have, which most of you will most likely have a better system than me, you will see much much more fps than mine if you have a 30 70 you will see at least 200 fps so keep that in mind 100 fps 110 fps and i'm playing with my not sound a lot however if you take into consideration the system that i'm using you will come to the conclusion that with a much newer system you're gonna get much much better results so yeah thank you very much for watching guys i hope that the video helped you have a wonderful day everybody bye bye